Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and outlaws of YouTube. Hello! What is up, Leek? Yes, it is your boy, it is. It's JP, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Yes, we're back for, you've guessed it, another horse video, because I, you know what, I just do a load of these, don't I? Well, what else have I meant to do in this game? But anywho, we're back, and uh, I scrolled through my channel a couple of days ago, and I was thinking of what videos to make, um... And the video idea that I've had for a while is not on the channel, and it's ranking all the roll horses. I thought I had done this uh, previously, you know, when my channel was very, very small, but apparently I haven't. So, officially, we're going to do it now. Uh, so, it's all the roles, so we all know what that is. Naturalist, Moonshine, Bounty, Trader, and Collector. All of those horses you can unlock. I, specifically, I will be doing the level 20 or level 20 versions. That's just because they're the best ones and the ones I have. Uh, so let's get started at number five. The one I'm not too fussed if I do not have and not unlock and stuff like that. And it's unfortunately poor Jacob here, the gypsy cob. Oh dear. He's done an intro and he's placed last. Oh no, it's, it's all about it's taking part, buddy, taking part. But anywho, yes, the gypsy cob I put at number five. I just, this horse, I just don't... L I don't know. I don't have that connection with it. The way you unlock it is with Harriet, and she's so annoying. Uh, but the horse itself, um, I just, I don't know. In certain situations, I've said it in a couple of videos when I've had a gypsy cob. Uh, in certain situations, it just feels sloppy. It feels like it's always wanting to book you off. It Like, you go near a wolf, you know this guy's going to book you within seconds. Also, it is kind of slow, but do not get me wrong, the coat patterns of the Gypsy Cub are probably the best in the game. Uh, but uh, in overall, I just feel like the Gypsy Cub isn't isn't a go-to horse for a roll. But anyway, just to check its stats out, Gypsy Cub it is at level 4 bonding at max 10 stam and health. So you know what, it is good in that terms, the way it's got a lot of stam, a lot of health. But overall, I just feel there's other horses in ro in the role specifically that overclass this horse. Uh, so, yeah, sorry Gypsy Cop, you are placed number five. But we are going to go straight to the stables and we are going to call Rex, who is going to place at number four. Now, who is Rex? Let's whistle and bring him in. We're going to look forward as we see Jacob running away. Ooh, ooh. And there he is! Rex is the Brenton or Burton, whichever one you want to class it as. Uh, there he is. Um, again, he's sort of similar to the Gypsy Cob, but I feel this guy is more trustworthy over a Gypsy Cob. Uh, but the Brendan is actually the role of the Bounty, uh, as I said, naturalist for Gypsy Cob. This is the Bounty Roll Horse. So a very good bounty, well, bo very good Bounty, very good role in general for, you know, your gold, your money, your XP, stuff like that. But overall, the horse, the coats, I would say the max level 20s are the best for the Brenton or Burton, uh, for me personally. But in Gunfire, this guy is actually, I've noticed, is really good. He, he actually is a pretty sturdy horse, and you would be if you're a bounty hunter horse. You're going against Gunfire with your bounties and stuff, so you would expect it from a Brenton. Anyway, checking its stats at level 4 bonding. You're looking at 10 stam and 9 health, so 1 less health than the Gypsy Cob, but however, if you look at that speed and acceleration, it is way quicker, and you do feel it. After I've gone on a Gypsy Cob and go on a different horse, you do feel that the, uh, the speed is slow, but on this guy, it's reasonably fast, reasonably good. That's why I've placed him at number 4, so at number 3, technically halfway at the moment, who are we going to call? We're calling Storm. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Come on, Mr. Storm. Here he comes. He's coming from behind. Who is he? What's he going to be? Well, if you're new, well, if you're quite regular to the channel, you know who Storm is. But if you're new, he is... Da -da -da -da, the Cordaruba. Oh, now I'm probably hearing a lot of people saying, what are you talking about? How is the Cordaruba beating a, a Brenton? What, what are you smoking, JP? Well, I'm smoking the drug or whatever you're thinking of called the most underrated horse drug now i do believe the cordoba is probably one of the most underrated roll horses in the game 
And my reasons being, this guy is way better than the Gypsy Cop in fighting situations, predator situations. This guy is is generally really good. Um, but the same with the Brenton. Um, it's good in Pacific gunfights, those close combat fighting. It's really, really good. It's it's quite a good sturdy mount, to be personally honest. And the coats for the Cordoba. I will have to admit they kind of suck, but in overall, the coats aside, it's a really, really good horse. Probably, as I say, underrated horses uh, in the roles in general. Now you want like this one due to Trader. So Trader's a somewhat semi-decent Trader. Oh, a tra De semi-decent role. God, get your words right, JP. Yes, look, even Storm saying yes, get your words out. But anywho, at level four bonding, let's have a look. We'll have the same as the Gypsy Cob, ten health and stam. Speed, not the best. Uh, acceleration is pretty good though. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a he's a green. Uh, but yeah, overall, I generally think this is a really, really good horse. I would always probably pick it over a Brenton and a Gypsy Cob. So that's why I feel it should be at number three, and therefore that's where he's going to stay. Thank you, Storm. You you actually kind of look beautiful in the light there. But anywho. Number two, who is it going to be? I wonder, I really do wonder, we're going to call Mr. Malcolm. Now for those of you who, uh, obviously I say, uh, are very regular to the channel, you know who Malcolm is. But for those of you who don't know, he's behind us as we speak. We turn around, there he is. It is the Arabian killer himself, the Carrillo. Now what, you're probably questioning me, JP, why the Arabian killer? Well, if you have an Arabian and you buy a Carrillo, discard that Arabian immediately. This horse is way better. Now, some of you Arabian diehard fans are going to be saying, No! It's your fault's wrong. Let me explain. Well, the Carrillo, as we go on to the speed and health and whatnot, has max speed. Arabians don't. Acceleration is at 8. Guaranteed the, Ar the Arabians have 9. But I have done multiple tests with this, well, this horse in particular, Carrillo, versus Arabians, and the Carrillo has absolutely dominated in every test I've done over an Arabian. Speed, bravery, you name it, the Carrillo beats an Arabian. So he's already got a tick in my book, because I feel like the Arabian is probably the most overrated horse. But anywho, unlocked by the collector roll, uh, very easy roll to do, just you do it in your spare time. Coats for the Carrillo, somewhat decent, same to the uh, Gypsy Cobb. They actually are kind of decent. I think the first two are, are meh, but then stages 2 and 3 are level 10 slash 15 to 20. Are the, are, the sem are the really, really good coats. Um, but again, great in gunfights, greats against predators. I know a lot of people highly rate this with legendary animals. Uh, I will be starting to test Malcolm with legendary animals to see how he fares. But uh, apparently he is really, really, really good uh, against the um, legendary, so I'll give that a try. But overall, the, the Carrillo is probably one of the best horses in the game. One of the best. Not the best, one of the best. Because you're not number one, you're number two. Now, who is at number one? Well, I think we all know who's coming. If you, As I say, if you know the channel, you know who exactly who's coming. If you're new, you'll know who, by the end who this horse is. As we turn around, it's Mr. Lenny himself. It is the Norfolk Roadster. My love of my life, the best horse in the game, in my personal opinion, it is just the best. You cannot beat this horse. I don't care what anyone says. This is the best roll horse you can get. Um, coats, even stage one to stage three. Love all of them. Uh, against Predators, amazing. Against gunfire can be a little bit skittish, I've noticed, but not as skittish as what I would say a Gypsy Cobb or a Brenton. But overall, I would have to give this horse a 95 out of 100%. I would. There's nothing. You cannot beat the the uh, Norfolk Roaster. I'm sorry. Go into stats. Nine speed. Uh, nine speed? That's incorrect. We're on about nine uh, stam, but seven health. So you're going to say, well, a Carrillo had more health and the same speed. How is that not number one? It does not matter. Apparently, these stats don't matter. 
And speed and acceleration, it does say 0, zero but you can see the Nacho saddle and the hooded stirrups are attached. So they are both maxed out at 10 and 9 for speed and acceleration. Uh, so it's, for me personally, the best horse in the game, the best roll horse you could possibly get, uh, in my personal opinion. It just rides well, the coats are great, I just love the way it acts around predators and shooting. It's my go-to horse in the entire game, so it's probably the go-to horse for the roles, in my opinion. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please leave a comment down below uh, your opinions on which do you think is the best roll horse in the game. And, and I'll see you guys later. Stay safe. And from me and Lenny at number one, congratulations. We'll see you all next time.